Tatiana and today I'm going to be sharing a spring beauty haul with you guys. Um, this is all clean beauty, non-toxic, uh, organic skincare and cosmetics and some body care products too. And because um, I did a lot of shopping um, and some things were sent from uh, different brands, like different collections that kind of came out for spring. So I thought I would share with you guys. Um, I have like a big safe and chic haul uh, like a lot of items I bought from Safe and Chic and then some items from Mahalo and True Botanicals and then some new uh, stuff from Jane Iredale. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first item I wanted to share with you guys is this pre-cleanse oil from True Botanicals and it's um, really interesting kind of oil. It's very kind of simple. It has a simple blend of organic plant oils and essences in it and it's just meant to help dissolve um, makeup and dirt and debris and it's like right you use it right before you use your regular cleanser and I really like it because it's super gentle it's very um, nourishing to the skin and it definitely does help to break up like makeup off your face if it even if it's like um, waterproof makeup which I really don't wear often but if you're someone that does wear waterproof makeup I did try this on a friend and it definitely helped to get like the waterproof mascara off um, so yeah I'm really liking this had it for a while now but I've just been kind of like had a bunch of things gathered um, so yeah um, loving this it has I think most of the plant oils are like jojoba and um, I want to say like sesame or something like that. Uh, I'll link it below. I'll link all the products below so you can go look at the uh, full ingredient list and you can see if it's something maybe you want to try. But yeah, definitely been loving this. I think it's definitely a great investment for summer and spring and honestly year round, but um, definitely now because my pores tend to get clogged. And sometimes I don't always want to use a cleansing oil like um, you know alone by itself but this pre-cleanse oil is great and then I can use the like Osea uh, ocean cleanser I've been using uh, or some other uh, gel based or foaming cleanser that's a little more uh, deep cleaning for um, the hot weather because I do live in California so yeah the next two items I got uh, were sent to me from true botanicals and uh, these are their body care line and I have the nourishing wash and the nourishing lotion and they really kind of go together um, they have like a really fresh herbal scent to them I definitely think they're both incredibly like soothing and calming but very hydrating um, I definitely think you could use these on sensitive skin too because like um, I have super sensitive skin I get like eczema and dry patches and stuff so these are definitely sensitive skin friendly um, I love the packaging, I love that it's aluminum, and they use organic and um, non-toxic ingredients. Again, I love True Botanicals just for their dedication to using non-toxic products that are safe, but also effective for your skin. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see how these work. Uh, I've used them like only a couple times so far, so I really haven't gotten a like clear, clear view of how they work um, or how well they work. I like to wait like at least a month or so. Um, before I like ring in on that, but um, again, so far they haven't given me any uh, adverse skin reactions. They've been super gentle um, and they definitely help with the dryness and any inflammation I've been dealing with. So loving that and I'll probably like come back around with these if I can in the blog post or maybe in a video or something uh, just to, or an Instagram post because I love doing that uh, with the, some updates so you guys know how these work for me. But yeah, definitely interested to see how the body care line um, kind of comes up in terms of uh, effectiveness because True Botanicals facial care is amazing. So I'm curious to see if their body care is just as good. The next two items I'm not going to spend too much time on. I'll link my reviews below. I've talked over and over and over again about these products. Um, they're massive loves of mine um, and they're just repurchases. So um, I have the uh, Mahalo Vacation Glow um, Hair and Body Elixir. I love this stuff. I ran out and now I have more. Uh, 
But yeah, this stuff is great for summer. It's super like hydrating to the skin, nourishing. It even is great to use like underneath sunblock if you want to get that like glowing skin look. It doesn't have any like shiny pigments in it like the May Lindstrom uh, Good Stuff Oil that I love so much. But that one's more like for winter in my opinion. Just the scent uh, is more for winter. This is more like a floral herbal scent to it. Um, so it feels more beachy. And um, yeah, I just love this one. It's great for keeping my skin hydrated, but it has that like beachy oil feel to it. Um, but yeah, I will link my review because I actually finally posted one about the Vacation Glow. Um, Petal Mask I've had on my blog for ages and ages the review and I've talked about it so many times. It's one of my favorite masks. It has beta hydroxy um, acid in it um, to help gently exfoliate the skin and that comes from the organic uh, Manuka honey, I believe that's in the formula. And there's also a host of organic plants, oils, and essences. And um, there's definitely like a hero ingredient, which is the organic rose. And they use like organic rose oil, organic rose essence, and absolute. So it definitely smells like roses. And I just want to show you really quick, just because I love this, the way it looks. It's a very sticky, gelatinous mask. So you can see the light. Um, and it does have some clay in it, so it is gonna pull some of those impurities and dirt out of your skin, but it's not gonna dry it out. It's definitely gonna leave a glow and bring that hydration and um, just kind of get rid of the dullness. So if you have like dull skin or if it's feeling like dry and just like clogged, this is a great one if you don't wanna go for those clay masks and those are like too drying on your skin, this is a great medium port. I, that's why I think that it's great for all skin types. The next product I have is the Osea Hyaluronic uh, Sea Serum and this has three different types of organic seaweed in it um, and hyaluronic acid obviously is a very simple formula for hydrating your skin with hyaluronic acid. I've been looking ages and ages, I just talked about this in my Green Beauty Capsule video series about how I was like looking for a million years for a good hyaluronic acid serum. Um, that was natural and that didn't have any of like parabens or extra ingredients So definitely happy to see that OC has finally done it. This one's awesome It is a very gelatinous thick feeling to it. So you really only need like a dime amount um, It even has like this really thick dropper Because um, this stuff is so thick and you really don't need very much It feels like water on the skin if you're somebody that really wants a um, oil-free moisturizer or you love that gel texture for your moisturizers this is an awesome awesome option and if you have really oily skin and you don't want to use like you're the kind of person that doesn't even like putting lotion on your skin this is a really good one because it just pretty much dries down to nothing it's not matte and it will keep your skin hydrated um but it's super super light so when it actually dries it feels like you have nothing on so love that and then I got this um, spearmint toothpaste from Uncle Harry's. I actually got this one on Amazon just because it was more convenient. But I've also ordered from their website before and um, they have great customer service. And I love this toothpaste. It's like the, um, it's like my favorite natural toothpaste. The other one I really love is David's toothpaste because it's made in Temecula, which is like 30 minutes from me. And I'm just kind of like, ah, lo local. I think that's really cool. And also they're very eco-friendly. But um, yeah, this one is definitely my number one. It, Mm, smells like toothpaste has that like very strong spearmint you can tell I've already been using this I like love this stuff uh, spearmint scent to it it uses um, like plant essences like essential oils like spearmint obviously um, god I'm sorry I like don't have this memorized spearmint peppermint eucalyptus clove wintergreen and oregano so it definitely feels cleansing and it almost like gives you that like Listerine burn um, and I kind of like that because I like that like super clean feel like I'm very anal about my teeth uh, and it also has those valuable minerals that we all want it has um, sea salt and um, clay uh, to help rebalance and remineralize mineralize your um, like the bacteria balance in your mouth to remineralize your teeth uh, so I freaking love that it has uh, magnesium and phosphorus in it as well so it's one of those toothpastes that will cleanse very deeply but also not take away the valuable nutrients that you kind of need in your mouth to have healthy teeth and like healthy bacteria levels in your saliva. The next items I am going to share with you are from the Jane Iredale Spring Makeup Collection for 2018. Um, I was super excited when they reached out to me and actually sent me some items. So these aren't items I purchased, these are items they sent 
um, to share with that I could share with you guys. Um, and one of the first things that they sent is this. It's like it's called the Snap Happy Snap Happy Makeup Kit, and it comes with a pure matte translucent powder, a whisper blush, and a brown sugar eye trio. So you can kind of see. Isn't this beautiful? I just love the Jane Iredale packaging, how it's always like a rose gold color. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you, but I really quick, I just wanna show you how it um, closes up into this tiny little thing. So you could travel really easily. It'd be really good for spring break trips. Oh, obviously, I mean, you're not gonna buy it now, but <laughs> summer trips, um, you know, or next year's spring break, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I love that it, you know, it folds out into this really handy and it has like a mirror, um, you know, and then obviously, you know, it's very compact. So that's awesome for uh, spring break or summer or whatever, or wherever you're traveling to, or if you just travel a lot year round. Um, so, okay, here's the translucent powder. It's going to be very hard to see because I'm super pale. I'm going to try. Um, and then the whisper blush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the eyeshadows for you guys. And that is from the Brown Sugar Eye Trio. And they do sell this separately, so if like you really like the eyeshadow colors, but you're like, mm, probably not gonna buy this uh, Snap Happy Makeup Kit, you can still buy the product separately on their own. So, okay, uh, you probably, can't, yeah, I don't see, okay. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, but that's a translucent powder, I'm just super pale. This is the Whisper Blush, and these are the three eyeshadow colors try to move it around in the light so you can really see the three and they're all different sh uh, shades of purple like one this is the dark purple this is a beautiful like lilac pink and then this is a lighter purple color and, and they have a lot of shimmer in them very, very pretty I love this uh, eyeshadow trio actually the full-size one and I have a lot of I Jane Iredale <laughs> eyeshadow palettes that I just love using because their colors are super long-lasting and pretty and they're just really easy to wear um, so that is really really cool and then they sent me god like so many lip products uh, this uh, lip fixation it's like a gloss and a gloss tint in content and then like a shimmer coat so here I'm just gonna show you so this is the content color I'm gonna go ahead and swatch and then this other color is like a clear but it has like glitter in it um, to give your lip colors a shimmer. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and it's a very thick gloss. Well, it's like a weird applicator, um, but it is a super thick gloss. Whoa, okay. So yeah, there's that. These are the two, so you can't really see this, but that's the content color and then the clear coat, you can't really tell, but it is very glittery and it's super thick and a little bit sticky. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but really pretty colors. Okay, so there are four more products in the Jane Iredale collection that I wanted to share with you. I just went really quick to wash my hand off so I could re-swatch some things for you. Uh, but they have this mystical um, gel liners. One is in emerald, the other is in sapphire. So the really pretty green color and then a really pretty like cobalt blue, I think. At least that's what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch these for you. And just in case you've never tried the mystical gel liners are really handy they have this like lid right and then you've got the gel liner and then you get this handy little brush and it is a really high quality brush I actually end up using these more often than not even though I have eyeshadow and eyeliner brushes and things and you know it's interesting because uh, previously I get kind of annoyed with some of these gel liners from Jane Iredale. I love them, but I always have to set them with another color because they tend to be kind of more on the, um, not greasy, but like they're very gel. Uh, they're very creamy, I should say. And so they're really hard to set and they can like crease really easy. So I would get like super annoyed because I'd have to find like an equivalent color to set it in powder. Um, but these actually feel way less uh, creamy. Well, the green one doesn't, but the blue one seemed like a drier formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and show these to you. There's the emerald and sapphire. Looks like, and they're really beautiful, like perfect mermaid type colors for spring and summer. And then I've got these beautiful, um, I think both pure moist, 
Pure Moist, Pure Moist, yeah. Pure Moist uh, lipsticks in Trisha and Jamie. Okay, and they're really like super natural colors that I think are super wearable for summer. This first one, this is Trisha. That one, very beautiful. And it's weird, it looks super dark in the tube, but it's not actually a dark color. Um, and then this one is Jamie, and see, it looks super dark in the tube, but it's not actually like super dark when you swatch it. It's actually like really pretty berry, bright berry, and then this one's like the nude peach color. Very pretty. And Pure Moist are super hydrating, like, so they don't make your lips look really dry or anything, so I love that. Um, here are all the swatches, you can see them one more time. Um, but yeah, that is everything for the Jane Iredale Spring Collection. I thought it was such a pretty collection. They always have really beautiful um, makeup collections, especially for spring, I noticed. I really like the colors that they come out with. Um, and so yeah, I really love that and I love this Snap Happy makeup kit. It's just so cool. I don't know that it's like super practical unless you wear all powders. But I definitely think like the blush and the eyeshadow trio make it worth it for, you know, use for traveling. So I'm excited to experiment with this. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a tutorial with Jane Iredale's spring collection and I'll make that happen. Okay, so now we're on to the items that I purchased from Safe and Chic. Um, this video is not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to mention because I just happened to buy everything from there. They, I noticed that they're one of the very few uh, online stores that sells green beauty that seems to have every brand I want so I like really appreciate that because it's nice to get everything in one place right and then not have to pay a million dollars on shipping um, but anyway so <laughs> let's get into what I bought so uh, the first item I purchased is this uh, Gressa skin foundation brush and I've just been really curious about this brush for a long time because most of the time I apply the Gressa Serum Foundation with my fingers or with a sponge or like a combination of the two. Um, so I was curious to see if this would give me like more full coverage or just like smoother coverage. So um, I have tried it a couple of times. This is a really high quality um, vegan cruelty free synthetic brush and it's definitely very dense. Like you can, it's super dense. Um, and yeah, very high quality. And it does give like a more, um, like airbrush type finish when I use um, this brush to apply the foundation, the serum foundation specifically. Um, so I definitely noticed that. The one thing that I don't like about it is that I noticed that even though it feels more like airbrushed and like full coverage when I do it is that um, it does kind of settle more into my pores and when I actually apply with my fingers it doesn't and it, it kind of just looks more natural and more skin like my skin, you know, not like I'm wearing makeup. And this kind of makes it look like I'm wearing makeup. So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, maybe I gotta play around with the brush a little bit more to see how it um, how it goes, but I'm gonna experiment a little bit and see if I can get the effects I want. And uh, maybe I'll update you guys in a Instagram post or something, but yeah. That's... And then the weekend that I did all these purchase, uh, this big purchase from Safe and Chic, I got like a lot of free gifts um, just because I purchased so much stuff in bulk. So uh, one of the things I got was this Osmia spot treatment um, from Osmia Organics. And this isn't their full size. I've actually purchased their full size a long time ago and I'm pretty sure they've updated the formula since then, but I love this stuff. It works really well. If you get acne frequently or you get spots frequently, like whether it's like that time of the month or whatever, this stuff helps the spots heal so quickly. Um, so I really like that. And um, Osmia Organics has such great quality and high um, standards for their ingredients and for their products. So I definitely feel like not only are they super natural and uh, they use very high quality ingredients, but they are actually very effective and they also keep their ingredients really simple. And um, the founder, uh, what is her name? Sarah, yeah, Sarah Villafranco, <laughs> like think about it for a second. Um, she w was, was or is, I'm not sure if she's still doing her day job because her brand's so successful, but she uh, was a dermatologist and specializes in very uh, unique skin conditions like dermatitis. So uh, her products are made with uh, sensitive and inflamed skin in mind and it definitely shows. Whenever I use her products, I notice that everything is always effective, gentle, and just works really well and doesn't irritate my skin. 
And the other gift I got, and I'm, I don't know uh, why, I don't know if they were having a special that weekend or why, I didn't put in code. For the uh, Osmia spot treatment, it was their gift with purchase for that week, and so you just put GWP in, and you'll get the gift with purchase as long as you spend over $100, which I did. Um, and then this one, I just, I don't know, I just got it for free, which is the Zor Inica uh, brush. I think it's their powder brush or, or blush brush, but it's really dense. It feels like a powder brush. And um, it's synthetic, vegan, um, cruelty-free, and uh, eco-friendly too. It's in bamboo, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, and it's super soft, like really, really, really soft. So, and I've been using this to apply my um, Powder Me SPF um, SPF sunscreen powder from Jane Iredale, and I really like it. It's like very um, nice coverage, but uh, it doesn't make me look super matte, so I like that. The next product I got from Safe and Chic is this um, Air Next Level deodorant from Vapor Beauty. I was dying to try this stuff and I'm so glad that I did because I love this stuff. Um, it's one of those twist ups where the liquid comes out the top and it smells so good. I got the Palo Santo Blood Orange scent and I said in an earlier video, because I was talking about it, because um, I've had this one a while now and I used it like from the get go. I Because I made my Safe and Chic order in like mid-February I want to say or like late February so I've had this stuff a while but some of the stuff I haven't tried just because I've been trying to like wait <laughs> um so that way I could do the video first but I couldn't wait to try this stuff and I just like ran out of deodorant so I had to but um it's so freaking good like it's so good I just I've been using it for like over three months now and it's definitely a freaking favorite like um, the only other one that like rivals this is the Thesis Beauty deodorant spray, which is like a blend of essential oils. It's very strong and it's not like a cream one. Um, but as far as like cream deodorant types, like the block deodorant, this is my favorite for sure. And the scent, it just, it literally smells like Palo Santo, like incense, um, has that scent to it. And I love that. Um, and it definitely does a little bit goes a long way and yeah, it, it, keeps me from being smelly and I love that it actually freaking works uh, if you don't like that like incense hippie scent then they do have like three or four other scents uh, they have like a floral one and like a spicy one I think they have like a grapefruit scent and then I think they have a f some kind of floral scent I don't know go look <laughs> you'll see uh, they have like three other scents I think uh, in total so that'd be like four that you can choose from so yeah love this stuff it was totally worth the money the last three products I have are all makeup and one of these is the Ilia mascara I've had this before um, and it's just a nightfall it's just the black um, deodorant or deodorant what am I saying the black mascara that they have um, and it's this um, brush that I just absolutely love it has like such fine um, little bristles on it and it has short ones on this end for your lower lashes and longer ones for your upper lashes and to like lift and separate and it totally does that. Um, I have this in Nightfall and Macchiao before and I absolutely love it. Ilia Beauty is awesome. They make really great products. This is like one of the few mascaras that doesn't irritate my eyes and I had run out of mascara. They were all like expired or just finished so I needed a new one so I just kind of refilled with this one and I, it worked out because I was doing the Green Beauty Capsule uh, video series and I definitely wanted to include this so yeah loving this stuff. Tried it before. It's just a repurchase. Okay, so uh, the next product that I have that I purchased uh, is this Ritual Defi um, Eye Soot, Eye Ashen Eye Soot, was it? Ashen Ember Eye Soot. I have such complicated names for this stuff. And Viscera, I've been like obsessing over this stuff for ages and ages when I finally just like purchased it. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Um, it's so beautiful and it has the potential to be like really subtle. Like I was wearing it and um, I didn't put a whole lot on I noticed like it's it's not so dramatic even though the color seems really dramatic it's like red um, it's super super pretty see in the light it's like beautiful um, and it comes in this little like little jar <laughs> magical looking jar with their ritual to feel on the top um, so it's definitely it kind of looks like an ink bottle now um, but yeah and it's like a cream type gel eyeshadow um, it definitely feels creamy and silky, but not super greasy and oily. It's um, definitely more like it sets to a powder. 
Uh, so this is Viscera, and it's a swatch. And you can definitely like blend it out or mix like a lighter color, like a gold or, or a champagne color over the top if you wanted it to be like more day friendly. Um, it's so beautiful. And if you have brown or hazel eyes or green eyes, this will definitely make your, even blue eyes, it would make your eyes pop so much. I just think it's so pretty. Like I've just been loving wearing it and I've gotten so many compliments. Um, just you know, wearing it over and over. Oh, and I think I shared it on Instagram and you might be able to see in that photo, I'll try and link it below, um, that it doesn't really look that dramatic. I didn't do a super dramatic eye look with this. Not yet, anyway, I'll probably try it uh, at some point. <laughs> but in that particular makeup look, I didn't do anything crazy. I just kind of had, uh, you know, just a little bit on my lid and a little bit of shading and stuff like that to, you know, make my eyes not look flat. Um, and yeah, I thought it looked really, really pretty and super day makeup friendly and yeah, totally worth the money. It, it really hurt to purchase this one though. It was so expensive. It was like $38 for this tiny little thing. I mean, granted, it's probably going to last me a long time. This stuff is like in there. It's not like, I thought it would be like loose powder, but it's not. It's like a cream, creamed powder type eyeshadow and you just, you know, put your brush in there and move it around a little bit and you have the color on your brush. It's, it, I could definitely see this lasting me so long. So I definitely think that it's kind of worth the money, even though it's more expensive. Um, and I'll definitely be trying the other colors. They have really beautiful, beautiful, unique eye, um, eyeshadow colors. So I really like that. And yeah, really happy with this one. <laughs> The last one is a repurchase of the Kai, uh, Kai, Kira Weiss, I finally figured out how to say it correctly, Kira Weiss Cream Blush, and I got it in the shade Abundance. Um, I love this color, it just looks really good with my skin tone. It's not too, um, blushy, like, I don't know how to, flushed, it's not that super, like, red flush color, I'm wearing it right now, but I also have a different color on top, so it's not the best, um, indication of what the color looks like. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Um, but it is like a, it's like a beautiful plum taupe uh, beige color. I think that it's just so universally flattering on pretty much any skin type in my opinion. Like it's just, whoa, I think I took a little too much, but um, it's this color here. Actually, it's both, it's these. Okay, so you can see how I've sheared it out here. It's a lot lighter, but you could wear it a lot darker. So if you're really dark and you have a really dark skin tone, you could layer it on a lot more heavily and get like a beautiful plum taupe, like true color to what the actual blush looks like in the pan. Or you can lighten it up like I do because I'm pale and wear the more taupe aspect of the blush. It's so freaking pretty. I just, I love it. Um, truth be told, Kira Weiss cream blushes are beautiful no matter what color you get. I have like a small sample of the blossoming uh, color, which is like a newer cream blush that they came out with and it's so freaking beautiful. It's more like spring, like bright and happy and stuff like that. And I didn't get those because I have a lot of those type of colors and I want something kind of different, uh, more neutral. And that definitely is what this is. Um, but yeah, I definitely will be investing in a lot more of their blushes. This is my favorite color. Um, but I'll be investing more in the, the bright ones probably um, as I go along. Cause they are expensive. They're like $56, I think, uh, just for the blush. And this thing's pretty small. Um, a lot smaller than I thought it would be because the foundation one is like more square. Um, but, you know, I mean, it, it is a very, very pigmented color. And I definitely see that, you know, in pan or whatever, it's going to take me a very long time to get down to hit pan. So to me, worth the money. I love the compact and they're very eco-friendly. So even though they cost a lot initially, the refills are cheaper. Um, so once you own the compact, you just buy the refills and then you can buy all the colors you want and in the refill, uh, as long as that shop offers it, which Safe and Chic I think does. Um, and then, you know, you never have to buy the compact again. So good investment in my opinion, especially if you're trying to live like a minimal zero waste type life. This is the blush to go with in my opinion. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys in my spring beauty haul. Um, it's my birthday month. This is so random, but I just want to share with you. It's my birthday month. Uh, my birthday is April 20th and my friend got me these really cool tarot cards from Etsy. So if any of you guys like tarot or um, collect tarot cards or uh, like reading tarot cards. Oh my god, this deck is beautiful. It's the wooden tarot and it's by Skull Garden. 
I'll link it in the description below in case any of you guys want to pick it up for yourself, but it's so freaking beautiful. Um, it's like hand designed or whatever by the artist. This is the back of it. And then the front of it is like, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. I just think that like all of these cards have such a beautiful design to them. This is my favorite. This is the magician. Isn't that cool? It's like such a cool gift. Such a cool birthday gift, right? Um, I just turned 29, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I actually didn't have my own deck, so I'm very excited um, to receive one for my birthday. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this Green Beauty Haul. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys found something that you want to pick up for yourself. Hope you guys are having a great spring a great April and I hope you guys have a good Earth Day because probably I mean it's like a week away by the time this is gonna be uploaded so I uh, hope you guys are getting your cycling in uh, if you like this video click the like button subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching bye